I'm Deputy Patrick Hannigan with the Brewer County Sheriff's Office. I am currently assigned to East Patrol um, on Charlie Squad. Uh, well, growing up, my dad was in the Air Force, so we moved around quite a bit. Uh, he was stationed at Patrick Air Force Base while I was in elementary school. And after moving to several more states, we ended up coming back to um, Brevard County to for his retirement. So I've, I've been here since eighth grade, about 12 years now. I went to UCF for for my bachelor's, and I double majored in biology and um, preclinical health science. And while I finished that, I decided uh, I wanted to do something with the community service. So uh, first, I went to EMT school, and I just did clinicals there. So right on the ambulances, and um, went through the hospitals, spoke with patients, and then I decided to right after that went into fire school and completed there, completed fire school. Um, shortly after, while I was going through fire school, my brother was going through the FDO program for the sheriff's office. And that's when he would come home, tell about his day, and it honestly sounded more interesting than what I was potentially could be doing. So after speaking with my dad and um, getting his input and all that stuff, I decided I wanted to go to the academy. And I went to the academy here in Melbourne at Eastern Florida State. And right after graduation there, I started with the Burke County Sheriff's Office. The one thing I do enjoy about being a deputy sheriff is, I guess, the feeling of making a difference. And I know that seems cliche and all, but I want to help I guess I want to help as many people as I can. I enjoy doing this job because honestly there's no other job like it. I come to the day, I come into the day and I don't know what to expect. Um, we answer our calls for service, not all the calls are the same. Um, we're always interacting with different people a day. Um, I enjoy going out there, make, trying to make a difference. Um, whether that's doing my routine patrols of the neighborhoods, trying to prevent crime, trying to deter crime by uh, going in and out of the neighborhoods during the night, um, trying to catch, catch the bad guys stealing the cars. Well, in addition to answering the calls for service that we, we receive, we try to patrol the neighborhoods and businesses throughout the night um, in that we look for we label it suspicious activity. Um, it's usually things that catches our eyes. Um, um, cars driving slowly in neighborhoods at three o'clock in the morning, and um, people walking by businesses, behind businesses. Um, in addition to that, we we like to have a high presence in our high crime, high drug areas, and we patrol that regularly throughout the evenings. Go. Uh, it was very uncooperative. He said. I'm going to go across the street to get a beer. We're heading to a call. It's labeled a suspicious incident where uh, the male RP said a female took all his belongings and left in a, a white SUV. A few minutes later, he called her. A couple minutes later, he, a few moments later, he called back and said the SUV crashed into a gas station which is um, located across the street and ended by saying he's had enough of it and he's going to go get a beer. So. Three twenty-two, ten ninety-seven. What did you say you do? Security? I did, but the whole carnival. Take her here, get her fish sandwich. I ordered all the food, came out, she's gone. I'm like, oh, hell no. Dude, so far good? Hell no. Give me my damn, just give me my stuff, dude. Waste all my, can I get right back to the beach? Time for try, try calling her one more time. Bye. 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 
the male half called saying his ex-girlfriend who drove him to the Burger King got upset with him and left the area and left him at Burger King. Um, he was uncooperative and stated he, all he wanted us to do was give her a call and have her come back. Um, however, she, after several calls she didn't answer and he just said he wanted to leave and go to a hotel. Jeremy, looks like I might be trying to get out the other side, Crockett. What's the vehicle description? I'm at Crockett and Abbey Ridge. Silver Ford or Honda Sonata. So right now we're going to a, a call where another deputy attempted to pull a car and it fled on him. On 23 at Abbey Ridge. So right now we're heading over there and... Yeah. 322. We got schoolhouse in Lincoln. What was the tag on it? I'm at Fisher in schoolhouse. You want me to relocate to Crockett as well? Fifty one. All right. Now we're gonna since the cannon's tracking, we're gonna relocate to to where to the road they're tracking towards. So, Corporal, where do you want me to go? You want to go in the businesses behind there? If you want to check out Target, all right. And that's up. I'm thinking what they did is probably either came down this trail. There's another trail right here. Okay. Further up. I'm gonna walk down and check that out. All right, I'll check that and I'll check behind those businesses. Uh, I'll check the Target, then I'll go behind those businesses. Okay, cool. All right. So right now we don't have much info to go on. The, these businesses back up to where the car was last seen. So we're just checking out these businesses, um, seeing if we see anybody running or anybody walking by closed businesses that may match that description. K9 responded and conducted a track but wasn't able to locate the individuals. Uh, Rockledge PD is out trying to make contact with the registered owner to see if they know who was driving the vehicle or if the vehicle was stolen. But yeah, at the end of the day, the, the most important thing is having myself, having my squad mates going home at the end of the day and going to their families, their loved ones, um, and letting them know they're safe. I know that the Brar County Sheriff's Office and all the deputies appreciate all the support that the community does provide. And with all the recent events that's been going on and how certain communities don't support uh, fellow officers and deputies as much as our citizens do, it really does make a big difference and I greatly appreciate it. Um, it helps us, it helps myself and my squad mates and other deputies go home safe at night. And that is, at the end of the day, that is the big big thing for us to go home safe to our families um, while we're working to protect yours.